I'm Shelby Rollins and this is your free vocal tip of the week. Today I want to talk to you guys about tongue trills. We don't talk about these that much and if you're wondering why, especially if you have singing success and, and you hear the tongue trill exercise quite a bit, then you might be wondering why we don't talk about it. Honestly, one of the main reasons is most people prefer lip rolls, but there is a pocket of you guys out there that hate lip rolls and love tongue trills, so this one's for you guys. Uh, the tongue trill, the, the rolling of the R, essentially. I was never really good at this. I've gotten better because I have a couple students who really prefer the tongue trills, so they make me do them more in my lessons with them. So I've gotten a little bit more uh, good at that one. But I wanted to talk to you guys about how to appropriately use a tongue trill. Um, now there's a lot of ways that I see people do this that create a little bit of tension. And the thing is, is that because this uses the tongue, you are potentially predisposed to creating tongue tension. So you have to keep it loose. That's actually the, the nature of it. Rolling quickly is naturally gonna keep it loose, but we can still stiffen it up a little bit. And anytime we're widening the mouth, you might can keep it going, but you can get a better quality out of it. And if, especially when it's wide and mouthy, you're only going to get so high. Um, the dopey thing that we talk about with lip rolls applies as well in tongue trills. But a great way to maintain the dopiness is to make like a pigeon sound with your tongue trill. So instead of a try this, kind of creating a ooh around the mouth with the lips, you don't give it quite as much uh, release and by closing the lips around it, um, and I mean that in a good way, by closing the lips around it, you create a bit of an air pressure so it helps perpetuate that cycle and it keeps it dopey. See, I told you I'm not good at them. <laughs> I can get a lot higher when I do it that way as opposed to a I'm gonna get really tight, especially in the back of my tongue and then back in here. So I hope that helps. Give it, give it your best pigeon noise. Hey singers, thanks for watching. For more information on this topic and on my program, Singing Success, visit us at singingsuccess.com.